Greetings, everyone, and a warm welcome to another edition of Marketing the Invisible. My name is Tom Poling, beaming out to you, as always, from on the white sand next to the big blue ocean at Little Castaways Beach in Queensland, Australia. Joined today by James McKinney. James, g'day, sir. A very warm welcome from down under. Whereabouts are you located? In the beautiful state of Texas in the United States in a great city called Dallas. I was speaking to someone a little earlier today. I believe you're having quite a warm day there today. <laughs> We've had a quite a warm month. <laughs> quite a warm month the whole summer. Uh, for those of you who don't know, James, very interesting man. He's a serial entrepreneur. I mean, a lot of people say that, but James actually is. <laughs> There's a point of difference right off the bat. Uh, is, uh, and, and, and how you know this is true is that in his bio, he says that he has a cemetery, a cemetery full of failed startups. Uh, those failures, yes, however, are what led him to establish the startup story, uh, as well as Grindology, which is all about coffee, hence grind, grinding coffee beans. Uh, so we'll, we'll give you that website, a bit more information in a moment, folks. Um, James, our title is How to Monetize Your Podcast Without Selling Your Soul, uh, nice to have both of those things going together. Our seven minutes starts now. So question number one, who is your ideal client? My ideal client would be any entrepreneur, anybody with a side hustle, anybody who may be working a nine to five and has a book full of dreams and ideas. Uh, but it's anybody who is either building a business or desires to build a business. And, the, and, and what you're offering is not just aspirational inspiration, but it's also quite practical, folks. Uh, you'll find out more about that in a moment. Question number two, sir, is six and a half minutes left. What's the problem you solve for them? Well, right now in this online space, there are a lot of self-proclaimed thought leaders. Yeah. And so the problem that I'm solving is I'm bringing real founder direct tactics to you, the listener. And we're talking, you know, how to build a VC fund from Steve Jurvetson, who created the, was the first investor in SpaceX and Tesla. Wow. How to build a media company from Larry Namer, the founder of e-entertainment television. Wow. Um, how, how to market a product that has never seen, been seen in the U.S. before from the founder of Veridesk. I mean, we're talking real founder direct tactics. And so not the thought leaders, not those who are just posing in front of a Lamborghini. We're talking real <laughs> tactics from real business builders. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Uh, question three, five and a half minutes left. What are some of the typical symptoms that your ideal clients are going to be experiencing before they meet you? Probably probably right now. And give us a heads up. What's going on in their business or their life where they go, man, I got to find out more about what James does. You know, a lot of it is they, they have this idea, this false expectation because the, the headlines in the media, right? right. There's this idea that, if, that you one, there's an idea that you have to be a technical founder in order to be uh, to create some type of SaaS solution. And I, I, I have half a dozen founders with no technical background that have built $100 million businesses. You know, there's this idea that if you aren't a massive success within 18 months, then why, why just give up because it's not bound to happen. There's this idea that you have to be, you know, destitute sleeping on your buddy's couch with your laptop pounding away at code all night in, <laughs> in order to make things happen. Like there's all these right. false narratives out there. So right. the idea of what is the common mistake? What are the things that people are believing? What are the problems they're experiencing? It's all centered around false expectations. And so the startup story in Grindology, and Grindology is a coffee brand, but it's also a magazine with founder direct tactics, hence the study of the grind. It is, it is all about giving real conversations and real tactics to you from other founders. I remove thought leadership completely and get you straight connected to the founder who's actually built a business. Yeah, right. I mean, these days saying you're a thought leader is almost saying you're not a thought leader because everyone else is saying you're a thought leader and you can't be yes. a thought leader if you're saying what everyone else is saying. So let's not do that, Amen. right? <laughs> so so question four, and we've got four minutes left. Um, we, we're talking about people who are founders or want to be founders, and they're going to try stuff because they're ambitious entrepreneurs. What are some of the common mistakes they make before they, they find about your solution? The biggest thing is they go all in too early, but I want to quickly define for the sake of time that idea of all in. Okay. I'm not talking about your ambition or your passion or your desire and pursuit. Like, yes, be all in on those things, but you don't need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. You don't need to leave your job. You don't need to, 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 to leave a secure income stream. You don't need to ditch a current product you have because you want to go on all something else. Like, like, don't be foolish with your approach. Be patient. And there's too much out there that talks about if you're not all in, you're not an entrepreneur. If you're not, you know, if you're not strapped for cash, if you're not, if you're not suffering in some way, shape, or right. form, you're not truly in this. And that's just not the case. Yeah. 
Yeah, fantastic. Thank you, sir. Question five, and so true. Uh, what's one valuable free action that you could recommend people take to? It's not going to get them to the end end point of the journey, but it might take them a step on the long a long road. Well, I will say, obviously, I mean, listen to the podcast. That's free, but you would be amazed for all of you listening and and watching. Like, just reach out to someone that is an aspirational goal in your sector or market. You may have a product that you want to bring to market. And you're like, this person has done this already. Reach out to on LinkedIn. I say it in every episode of Startup Story. Entrepreneurs support other entrepreneurs. And that yep. is so true. Very true. I'm here on this, on this show because you reached out to me and told me who you serve. I'm like, yes, I want to help provide value to those people. And so, I mean, we, again, we want to help those who are in the grind like us. So just right. reach out to people on LinkedIn. It's free. Yeah, yeah it's a good price. <laughs> And all right, thank you, sir. So that's that's a great, valuable free action, a, a step you could take, folks. Question number six, two minutes left. One valuable free resource that we could direct people to that's going to help them more. Well, you know, I talked about Grandology. And yes, Grandology is a uh, entrepreneurial subscription box. It does include coffee. It does include uh, some aspirational mugs for the coffee drinker. And it's great coffee. If you like a dark roast, Grandology is a spectacular coffee. Um, but the, the core of it all is Grindology Magazine. It is, again, from cover to cover, Founder Direct Tactics. No thought leaders, no journalists. It is founders writing a step-by-step -step, uh, process of whatever our theme is for you. And um, for your listeners, if you go to grindology.com forward slash farm girl, that's F-A-R-M-G-I-R-L, all one word, you can access on that page a link to a, the current copy, the Q2 issue that the theme is content, and you can get a free access to the digital publication. Otherwise, it's $9 per issue or $49 for the subscription, but you're getting a free copy. If you just go to grindology.com forward slash farm girl, follow the instructions on that page, you get access to the Q2 issue. Folks, I've been there. It's world class. It is absolutely world class, and it doesn't cost you anything. It's like, why would you not do that? Which is kind of what good marketing does, James, as you know. <laughs> so uh, it's grindology.com forward slash farm girl as in yeah you're milking cows okay so farm girl go get it um it really is fabulous folks i've been there go get it 45 seconds left i better move on what's the one question i should have asked you but didn't are the problems that are unique to entrepreneurship whatever it may be cash flow hiring practices marketing whatever the case may be are they truly unique or are they really just unique to you and the answer they are they are simply unique to you. The <laughs> challenges unique. you're the challenges you are facing have been faced by hundreds, if not thousands, of entrepreneurs before you. Yeah. They're just unique to you. And do not do not isolate yourself. Connect with other entrepreneurs. Yeah. Brainstorm. Ask the questions. Have the discussions. Find out what other people have learned in their journey and watch how applicable it is to yours. Perfect. James McKinney, thank you so much for your insights. My absolute pleasure. Thanks for checking out our Marketing the Invisible podcast. If you like what we're doing here, please head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate us, and leave us a review. It's very much appreciated. And if you want to generate five fresh leads in just five hours, then check out www.5hourchallenge.com.